to wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Today, it's week three between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Los Angeles. This one is a fair catch. A single four and take it. Mayfield to throw on the first play. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. Wow, first play of the game, CD. 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7 0. Here's the Jaguar kick team now as they run up and send this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. Scott looks to throw on first. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. The Chargers at 0-2 here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two game CD but the talking to them in the days leading up to this one doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence I would agree with that and what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes they didn't see the need to shake things up they were going to continue to plow ahead they thought they had the right guys on the team and in the locker room but they do have to start winning some games They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he is going to lose yardage here. Prescott to throw on fourth. And he overshot him there. It's out of So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they give it up just on their side of midfield. And, yeah, I mean, a surprising decision there to go for that. Must have a lot of confidence in his defense. Must feel like, hey, we're in great shape here because our defense can hold them because they're really outside of field goal range now, all right, the opposite team. So if you hold them here, you haven't given up any points. You may give up a punt and you're, you're pinned down a little bit, but must have thought it was an okay spot to go for it and decided to be aggressive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Mayfield. 
Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually couldn't count it last week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right, it felt like a matter of time, and you've got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They went with a run-pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. That's into a crowd and intercepted. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, it's now a two-touchdown lead in the opening quarter. Following that pick six, they are off to a fast start in this one. And absolutely ecstatic on the sideline after that play, aren't they? Not just because they've got the lead, but how about seeing one of their guys get a chance to take it in for six? Already up a pair of touchdowns. They've got everything going their way early on. Extra point forthcoming. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. The Charger drive about to get going. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 22. But this is a quarterback that's already in the top 100 all-time in passing yards, but that last throw going to move him past Roger Staubach on the all-time list. Roger Charles at 22,700. Don't forget, he also won two Super Bowls, played from 1969 to 1979. And I would dare say Roger's numbers would be larger. But remember, he had a commitment to the Navy. He graduated the Naval Academy. And back then, you had to serve your five-year hitch before you could go on and join the NFL. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. To throw on second and ten. Prescott. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Prescott yet again. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And the Jags will take over here at their own 12 yard line. And, partner, I think this is where long term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pick up on first down. A 
officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Mayfield to throw it. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all his receivers downfield. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's Mayfield. And that is incomplete. A third down is a key down in any game you play. A third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down. The and Prescott, his third interception. Picked off by Leighton Vander Esch. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. But such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it to make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. I think that's if they can stop a score. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. To throw, Mayfield. He's going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play, and that will lead to a third and goal. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. They'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Mayfield now. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Jarnell Mooney, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Jaguars have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 21 to nothing. 